Jail Anderson 01 and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. This is uh, a bonus video. This is the third one I've recorded. Uh, the first one was the cutscenes with Krauser and all that, Manuela, and then the second one was the archives. So I in this one, let's go to customization. As you clearly see, I like spending money. Um, I don't have any gold to actually upgrade anything right now. But as you see, oh, if you have the right amount of gold, like see it says 8,000, you click upgrade, you exchange the money, it gets upgraded, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so in this episode, I'm going to show you the secrets. Yes. Secrets are amazing, so let's go. By the way, I'm not good at it. I'm horrible at this. Well, maybe, maybe I'll do good on the camera. And well, it's not a camera; it's a capture card. But you get the point. You get it. As you see, we're at the RPD. We are Claire. We have no other weapons. We just have a handgun. And then, what's this? This is tofu. This is what. And as you clearly see, your handgun is really, really shitty. Like, this is like the normal handgun that you would normally get. See, if you, have you noticed? Really slow compared to what my actual handgun is. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of annoying, but that's the secret. We're, uh, and see, so you don't have as many bullets. Oh, what music is this? I don't even know. What is this music? Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. It's confusing. I'm gonna have to listen to the soundtrack later. Figure it out. But you pretty much go from the RPG to the beginning of Memories of the Lost City Chapter 1. I always get to the very end, which is the beginning, you know, whatever. And I can never beat this. I've never beaten this. Because I suck at it. I think it's from Game of Thrones. Go! Uh, why it's tofu, it's because, uh, in Resident Evil 2, they had a little thing, a, a fourth survivor, and it's about Hunk, who was an agent that, uh, went and stole the G-Virus sample and all that, and he can fight the zombies, but after you beat it in a certain time or whatever, you can actually play as Hunk still, but you fight Tofu. It's kind of an inside joke. Um, I know quite a couple YouTube parody people who do Resident Evil parodies. They, uh, they include Tofu somewhere. And as you clearly see, vegetarian food can hurt you. Or vegan food or whatever can hurt you. I don't know what Tofu is. Hurt you. Oh my god, this music! What is it? Is it from Operation Down here? Oh my god, what is it? Well, see, yeah, it took a lot of your help. And you can't even pause. I'm pressing C and I can't pause the game. I'm I'm pressing the plus button for the herbs and I don't have any herbs. You don't get herbs, this is kind of a one shot deal. I can't even pause to check the check the thing. It's at seven frames, so that's good. This one's probably not gonna be that long in the video anyway. 
I was just going to show you this and how to upgrade weapons. The next bonus video is when I'm going to replay as Steve and Claire for Chapter 3 and 6 of Game of Oblivion. I'm going to be playing Claire instead of Steve because I just think it's humorous. I might... Oh, Jesus Christ! That's a lot of tofu, man. So much tofu! Oh, sh what the hell's wrong with you, dude? He's <laughs> kind of funny. There's dogs. But yeah, this is... But, yeah, this handgun is pretty much the standard handgun that you would normally start out with. And as you notice, as you get further and further along, it gets faster, and I'm gonna get bit! Oh, I'm not! Okay, oh! What the hell? Go away! It gets faster, and they become a little harder to kill. I don't know, this is normally where I mess up. Uh, you see a zombie eating tofu. And they run away. Isn't that lovely? And then there's tofu! Oh my god! Oh, you son of a bitch! And it went through the wall. I think this is from game- I don't know. It is going to bug me all night. But, yeah, this is normally where I'm gonna die. Usually in here or at the end, but it's probably gonna be here. It's probably the last you're gonna see me with the tofu. Never beat it. Never beat it. I don't know. It's usually around this part. This part's where I die. I wish you can use your upgraded weapon. I wish you could use any weapon, but you can't. It's, I, that's a challenge. Using your shitty handgun and then they're dirty. Dirty tofu. Damn you, dirty tofu. I know I'm gonna die. I just know it. Cause... I think I got to this part and I was like, oh my god, I won! And then I died, and then I was like, no! They're gonna come, yeah, see, I was like, right here, I was like, yeah! I beat it! And then all this tofu came out of the fire, and then I died, because look at this. One more bite and I'm dead. I know that. See, I was like, right here, and I saw them, and I was like, shit. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know. I like how it's like disembodied. Shit! I thought I actually won, but no, there's more. There's always more. And I'm gonna die. Goodbye, cruel world. Ah! You bastards. Continue is when you're just gonna do it again, but I'm not gonna, because I can't beat it. But I don't know what happens if you beat it. I don't know what happens, so no spoilers, please, because eventually I'm going to beat it. And eventually, it is going to happen. Okay, um, this is only like a 10 minute video, but uh, I'm gonna show something else off. Uh, the scores. You can see all your scores from everything, uh, from easy, normal, hard, from single player to multiplayer. So whatever, that's how you, you can find it and anything. All stats is, like, uh, total clear time. I beat the game in 4 hours, 31 minutes, 18 seconds. But my total play time has been almost 40 hours. Um, highest headshot combo 4, yeah. Number dust 34. Fuck you, Alexia. You caused me to die again. But yeah. Uh, total score from s double player, I played... Two player with my friend Joe the Badger. Uh, I try playing on hard. 
so I can get more archives. Um, try it on easy, just in case, because sometimes if you play easy, you get some archives too that you can only get on easy mode. But luckily, you keep your upgraded weapons. They don't just downgrade you like that, so that's good. And another thing. Swift characters. Alright, for characters, it's probably gonna be an awkward cutoff right there. I never read Chris's file. It's actually not in. It's not interesting at all. It's long. It's really long. I don't want to read it. I'm lazy. But he, it explains he was in the mansion incident. How I don't like him. Actually, it has nothing to do with it. I just don't like him. And this is that other outfit. Uh, this is the outfit he wore in Umbrella Chronicles for the Russia mission with Jill. That took place in 2003. So technically, the previous game, Chronicle game, is set in the future. When the second one is, is set in the past. It's really weird. Operation Javier takes place in 2002 and in the Russia mission. I don't know what it's called because I actually never beat it. <laughs> Took place in the 2003. The Fall of Umbrella. That's what it's called, I think. The Fall of Umbrella. Uh, for a second, too, look at Tunk. Oh, from um, when I played the game and I found an archive, if you remember, and I got excited because I found an archive. Well, the archive I found was Ada Wong. The Asian woman Leon met in the Raccoon City Police Department's underground parking facility. What the fuck? No! Go away, Annette. Parking facility. Ada had actually been working undercover at Umbrella as a spy for a rival corporation, which we never find out in this entire- I think it might be Tricell from Resident Evil 5. But even after the whole- uh, Ouroboros thing, uh, Resident Evil Damnation, a CG movie that has Leon in it, finally has Ada in it, and she's still working for a rival organization. I have no idea what it is. No one knows, I don't think. Uh, Ada, who prior to the incident obtained information about the G-Virus from her research at the Arclay Laboratory, which is John, her boyfriend, you know, whatever, if you know Resident Evil 2 like I do, Received orders to obtain it and came to the zombie overrun Raccoon City in search of the virus. Yay! And she wore that outfit to do it. I don't know why. In order to get clues, she tried to find Ben, uh, whatever last name, I don't feel like pronouncing it, butchering it, who had been investigating related cases prior to the biological disaster. After Ben's death, she encountered Annette Birkin while tracking her husband, William Birkin, who by this point had mutated into- What? Into a single-minded monster. Ada was rescued from that critical situation by Leon, who risked his life to save her. From that moment, her feelings toward Leon changed. Later, Ada risked her own life to help Leon against the unstoppable tyrant. The end. Um... Uh, Oh, this is just uh, Leon's uh, Asian outfit, so you recognize his outfit, Resident Evil 4. Except he actually has a jacket. Uh... It's only nine frames that are... ...dropped. Um... I know you can get other outfits when, like, he wears a motorcycle-looking outfit that looks similar to the one he had in Resident Evil 2 as a bonus outfit, and same one for Claire Redfield's, like, kind of like an alternative motorcycle outfit. So, I guess it's called a cowgirl outfit in Resident Evil 2, but she gets one in this, and in Game of Oblivion, Steve gets a costume. I'm guessing it's for those two spots, I don't know. Uh, Steve has a costume that he looks like dressed like a cowboy on the back. It says Axe Monster on it. It has an axe on it, so it's a reference to his mutation. Claire has a, like, a white cowgirl outfit. Well, <laughs> damn it, damn it! No! Go back. Dead God! Hmm. Uh, and here she has, like, I think I think it's the same kind of outfit that she had in Resident Evil 2 that was in here. Yeah. 
It's weird having two Chris's on the same page. It's weird. Oh, you'll see two Leons. You'll see two Krausers. Uh, the Krauser one is just his Resident Evil 4 outfit as well. But... I don't know what to do with my life anymore right now. I don't know. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Ah. It's only dropped 10 frames and I don't got any- I already showed those off in the thing. But, yeah, that's- I don't know, I dropped my thing. But yeah, that's the secret, that's how you customize, and there's the couple of extra archives that I didn't show. Um, I guess that's it. So until, I'm gonna leave off here. So until next time, guys, um, we're gonna do one more bonus video. So it's gonna be four bonus videos until, and it's gonna be the alternate lines and game thing for uh, Steve Burnside and Claire Redfield in uh, memor <laughs> Game of Oblivion. God, I can't talk today. Uh, Game of Oblivion Chapter 3 and Chapter 6. No, I am not going to play, show you the entire chapter again. Where I feel most necessary for me to record, where I know the best lines are at for me to show you guys, that's where I'm going to record. So you're not going to watch the whole same chapter again. Because like in Chapter 6, I split that into three parts, but... So those were like 10 minute parts, and then um, chapter 3 was a half hour and it was all one video, because it didn't drop. Resident oh shit! The dark side Sir! Don't interrupt me when I'm talking! Also, I'm gonna show you something right here. You hear the music changing? I'm gonna let you listen to it real quick. Yep, Manuela's lullaby is in the title screen if you listen to it long enough. It's called Memories. This is the first half of her song, and in the credits you hear the second half of her song. So it's kind of, uh, the beginning you hear half, and at the end you hear, you hear the end. It makes sense. It's brilliant. But, uh, as I said, bonus video four, alternate dialogue from Game of Oblivion. I'm not going to show what it- uh, I know there's some in Memories of a Lost City, but I don't think they're as funny. I like the Steve and Claire ones better. So, till n what are you doing? Capcom, what are you doing? Stop interrupting my outro! <laughs> Random stuff that happens. Are you going to like show me how to properly use my Wiimote again? Please, Slobber, you're not going to show me how to- I don't think it is. I think it's going to show me the opening again. And it did. Okay. That's it. I'm done. Screw this. Till next time, everyone. Have yourselves a zombie-free day. Oh, God. I can't stop the recording. Okay. I'm distracted with the little visual on my computer screen of the freaking intro thing. Ah. Bye, guys.